what's up you guys welcome back to my channel um i'm since i really honestly don't have much to do in this quarantine and this little lockdown that we're going through um i thought i have a little get ready with me video um just to share with you guys like a lot of products that is definitely new that i've been really obsessed with that i just wanted to share with you guys but yeah if you guys are bored and don't know what to do then just keep on watching right enjoy all right so let's get started so right now i just went ahead and put my serum on um and i pretty much did all my skincare but i did leave out my moisturizer because this is a really good trick for those that are really really oily and um you want your makeup to stay up stay on a little bit longer i did catch this like i did find this hack like makeup hack on tiktok i'll probably put it like right here so you guys can see it while i'm doing it but um yeah just follow along if you wear makeup watch change your whole routine and try this instead moisturize first then after moisturizing take some translucent powder i usually use the fit me one and i just lightly dab it all over my face not too much then take some setting spray it could be any setting spray i usually use the nyx one after the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then, just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your fucking makeup is going to look. And it's going to stay on 24-7 and it's not going to crease. It's a technique that's probably still used by so many other people. I heard that it's been used for like a long time, but I just found out about it. And honestly, look, I don't have the beauty filter on. Try it on you and let me know if it works. So, yeah. So you're pretty much going to put your um, your moisturizer on after that. Okay. So after you put your moisturizer on, since it's a little bit more on the sticky side, I'm going to go ahead and put my translucent powder. I am currently using the Wet n Wild. I have two colors. Um, I just use this all over when I need to, like just to kind of get rid of any oil spots but the banana powder I do set underneath my eyes to bake for some color you know what I mean but I'm gonna go ahead and use a translucent powder to do all over my face you just need a little bit you don't want too much just kind of dab it all around your face and go ahead and grab your setting powder I love this powder my sister was the one that just got me on to this this is the morphe mattifying setting spray really bomb you guys should get it if you're like really oily and it smells like coconut it smells so good um so yeah you're gonna let that dry and all of this is like before you put your foundation on and then you'll just go ahead and go right to your normal makeup routine um so i'm gonna go ahead and grab my um mattifying primer so i was able to get my hands on this finally you guys this is the elf um poreless putty putty primer is that how you say it um i did talk about this in my other channel but i forgot to do to show you guys what i use um this is my favorite so far i love this and for only like was it eight bucks? I think it was like six or eight bucks. Oh no, it was 10. It was $10 only because I bought it at, Tar uh, at CVS. Usually that's a little bit more expense expensive at CVS. Um, it's, you're better off going to Target. Um, but I had coupons. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit. Now you're going to put your primer on as soon as you're done. Um, with your setting powder, I mean setting spray, and then you're gonna let that dry up, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all over. And you guys, your makeup will stay on so long. Um, try this out, even if you're not oily, but definitely for my oily girls you need to do it okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and put my foundations i'm currently um loving these two um i'm using the maybelline fit me that's my ultimate favorite to go i'm number 220 which is natural beige and then this was my first time using the dream radiant liquid um this one's 75 number 75 natural beige 
So this one's a little bit more darker than the Maybelline one. Um, so I like to use this one a little bit more on the outer side and then this one more my oily side because this is a little bit gives you a little bit more of the radiancy um, like it gives me a natural glow in a way so we're gonna just do this all over I can feel your energy get my Tarte concealer and I just put a little bit honestly I don't like to put too much especially because one I'm only going to be indoors I mean this is probably a lot to you guys but for me I normally do it like all over here I'll put a little bit here here and then a lot more here but because we in quarantine I don't need to put too much so I'm just going to go ahead oh and this sponge you guys is from um elf as well and i love it you guys if you find it at your local store like target or um cvs i know cvs had it when i was there but they only had one i mean they had a few actually and then i wanted to get the concealer one because the concealer one's super small um and that one actually was pretty popular and they had one at cvs but that one was a little bit dirty so i didn't get it but now i'm like looking for it everywhere and it's so hard to find but honestly, this is like just, it's so perfect. It's just like the um, the beauty blender. It's soft, it's breathable, it, but I love it so freaking much. It's my favorite sponge ever, better than the real techniques, better than and, and anything, honestly. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my powder, or set my face with this translucent banana colored powder. And yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use my two bronzers. Um, these ones are the Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Bronzer in color Sunkissed, Sunkissed Bronzer. And then this is Regular Bronzer. Which, this one a lot more. The Sunkissed because it's not so warm. And then the... Um, I mean, sorry, the regular bronzer is not so warm, and then the sun-kissed one is a lot more on the warmer side. I'm Right now, I'm using the bronzer, like regular bronzer, with a flat, dense brush from Morphe um, R10. And I just like to define my cheekbones, and then just kind of put it, it's kind of like a base for my other bronzer. So yeah, I'm just going to line it up. I mean, this is like my quarantine life routine. <laughs> when I have my makeup on, I don't know, I feel like I get more things, pro like I'm more productive because when I don't have my makeup on, I feel like, ooh, I can be lazy. Let's watch movies. Cause I guess like that's how I would normally be. It's like this whole quarantine got me fucked up. So yeah, I'm just kind of defining it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab Sorry, my camera kind of cut off. Okay. And so now with the fluffier brush, which is Morphe M581, just kind of fluff in everything. And it gives me color, you know? While I'm still blending in. You're probably like, back the fuck up. Grab my regular bronzer. Just the colored bronzer or whatever it's called. The, the one that's not warm. And then I'm just going to go ahead and line my nose a little. Just put a little. I'm going to go ahead and take off the, the leftover uh, powder underneath my eyes. I never was the type to put blush. But let me tell you. This warm soul color from MAC is super pretty. Very subtle. I love it. And I love it. So I'm just going to put a little bit. Cause it's not so um it's not so harsh and it's super pretty and it does have a little shimmer to it but it doesn't like overpower your look and i used the mac 168 brush so now i'm going to use my highlighter 
you already know Anastasia Emery's you can tell I'm almost done guys I don't ever want to be done with this and I'm using the Mac or Morphe M500 or 501 whatever um I don't I don't know if she's still making this one but I wish she was because it's so my favorite okay now that I got that situated um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows now I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my eyebrows first and so I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my eyebrows first like I said, oh, actually, I haven't said it on this channel, but I'm growing out my, I'm growing out my brows. Let me go ahead and look, let's zoom in a little bit. So I'm growing out my brows, um, just so you guys know, so don't get crazy with me, but, um, I'm trying to get, like, fill it up a little bit more. Like, I want this to kind of be all together. I've been, I've been living for that look and then I just want this this one has been filling up faster than this side but we just we try to make it grow so I'm using the Mac concealer and then I just like to let me see if I can go a little closer so I just like to do this pretty much so I'm just concealing and then I go over these these um little hairs because I like I said I don't want to pluck them yet even though I don't want to grow hair all the way down there but I just really don't want to pluck anything right now and I'm going to do the same thing on this side I'm going to look a little crazy for a minute you guys but whatever okay Okay, now that I'm done concealing, I'm going to grab the Brow Wiz. Um, this one's in color taupe because I like using more lighter shades on my brows because it just um, helps me not fuck up. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the pencil and then it just lines me up. I'm going to do just a little bit. I don't like putting too much anyways. I just want like a little definition and then that's it. Okay, so that's as much as I'm gonna put. I don't wanna put too much. And then I'm just gonna use a spoolie and then just brush it up. I use this um, when I don't use my beauty blender for my concealer. This one's just the Morphe E8. Okay, so let's zoom you guys in back out. Ooh, no, don't go close. I'm going to put you guys a little bit closer. I don't know why you were so far. Why were you guys so far? Hmm. Pobrecitos. Okay, so. We're going to let the brows be. So then after I'm done doing my brows, we're going to finish it again with setting spray. Let that settle in. I like to do the setting spray before I do my mascara. I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara and this is the Arbonne mascara you guys this is my third one I love it so much at first when I first used it because I had eyelash extensions and then I stopped using it and then I did I let it like grow a little bit and then I started using this mascara um at first and I just like I didn't really care for this mascara I'm not gonna lie because my eyelashes were so brittle and small that um because of having eyelash extensions, so I was like, oh, I was just so fed up and I just blamed it on this mascara. I mean, obviously, because it's like, wasn't giving me what I wanted. And then this has the, um, the ingredients, uh, polypeptide, and that helps your lashes. And obviously this is very safe, has no chemicals in this mascara. Um, it's, you know, it's very pure ingredients, good for you. And it has something to help your eyelashes grow. And I feel like since I've never used, since ever since I've used this, I don't go with any other mascara now. Um, that my lashes look really bomb. And I feel like it really did help. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on my bottom lashes. Okay. Let that dry. And then, I love this lip gloss. This is the Morphe Boho lip gloss. I like it because it's very light on your lips. It's not sticky. And it also um, it just gives a little color, a little nudie pink color. And this is just a really pretty color. And I usually just put this on. Um, it just gives a really pretty luscious lip color to it, honestly. But yeah, this is pretty much it, you guys. This is my quarantine routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video. Um, follow me on my other social medias. I'll have it down below or I'll just set it right here. Whatever floats my boat when I'm editing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little get ready with me. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell if you want to be notified the next time I upload. Peace out guys. See you guys later. Stay safe. Okay, peace.